time helping or hindering us to live in the moment? I was drawn to this question almost immediately and the first thing that came to mind was what is the moment? Sounds pretty grand, right? The moment. The moment when you finally meet him or her. The moment when you have enough to buy that guitar that you've been staring at through the shop window for so long. The moment when your phone runs out of battery and you're nowhere near home. Or the moment when they say, it's over. My friends do this thing, they send an MFW. My face when Sir said we had a test today. In other words, my face when and then a moment. The general definition for living in the moment is this. When you are completely focused on and mindfully aware of the present, the right here and now. And there are plenty of ways in which we could do this, right? We can be completely consumed, completely focused on anything. A person, a place, a game, a view. Endless opportunities to be living in the moment at any one time. But then doesn't that mean that by living in one moment, we're missing a thousand others. There was this video that did the rounds on social media a while back of a guy trying to find his way to some place. And it showed two scenarios. One where he looked up directions on his phone. And another where he asked directions from a girl and fell in love. This is a great example of this. The multiple moments that we miss, even daily, just by choosing to do one thing instead of another. Like choosing to be mindful of a video game instead of the world around you. And in this day and age, I'm sure loads of people make this decision. Whether you're rescuing Princess Zelda, defeating the Endo Dragon, or just becoming the biggest criminal in San Andreas, you're still being mindful in the present, just in a more virtual way. So what isn't living in the moment? I think the key word here is mindfulness, being mindfully aware. Some sources I looked at described non-mindfulness as a robotic state where we're automatically living out habitual patterns that can take us over and run our lives for us without our being able to stand back and decide whether this is what we actually want to be doing. Like when you're checking your phone every two minutes to see if Snapchat's come through. And it's unimaginable how extreme this can get. Extremes such as obsession with kids on their phones in class missing important stuff, stuff that affects their futures. Extremes such as depression, both on and off technology. On when no one posts, no one likes, no one chats, no one tweets. Off because you're away from it, because you can't stand the separation from that safety blanket. This is non-mindfulness, not living in the moment. But non-mindfulness came around long before technology did. You know when you just roll out of bed and <laughs> get on with the day, not really thinking about what you're doing, stuck in the rut of routine? And then there's that picture, the newspaper train, that was published in 1875, showing a London train carriage with people all reading newspapers. Although it's debatable whether or not this shows antisocial behaviour, it definitely shows non-mindfulness. People, focus, people focusing on past events rather than the world, the people around them. So it's obvious that electronics and screen time aren't the cause of lack of living in the moment. I believe, however, that it hinders us from it, or at least can sometimes hinder us from living in the most beneficial moment. So the next time you're scrolling down your newsfeed mindlessly, step back, stop, think, be mindful, live in the moment. <laughs>